I was asked if you can see these concretions, trovant, magic stones from space. And of course you can, because they are very large. When the concretion, magic stone, or trovant comes out, it leaves a perfect bowl, a negative impression fossil that is quite a few feet in diameter. And after some investigation, I was able to find these things all over the world. And they either have the fossil still inside or they have the fossil removed, which leaves a black circle hole you can see from space. From Trovance in Romania, Cape Pearls in New Mexico, Magic Stones in Morocco and Mongolia, these are sedimentary concretions often forming around a fossil. Trovance, as seen from space satellite. And these are on Google Pro Earth. These are Landsat images of an area on Vancouver Island, British Columbia, Canada that I will call Tillamook for the time being. The general overall view of the bay and the rocks. This is again from Landsat satellite image and the Provence are visible from space. You can see them there. Here again a general view of the uh, Trovant area and another view out further of the whole bay and uh, you can see those uh, black holes there many of them, thousands of them in this area and I've outlined them on this next image here those are the Trovant holes that are perfect hemispherical depressions in the sandstone rock and there's another area that's a log in the middle but you can see all the uh, Trovant's holes visible. Here's another view and then I'll show you my markup with all the holes identified. The black areas are perfectly round Trovant negative fossil impressions and here's another view from a different angle there's the log out there same log with the Trovant negative cast holes or bowls you may call them visible here's another view of the beach a little closer those are the Trovant holes there's the log and again the Trovant holes are negative casts of the fossils the fossils have been removed and they leave perfect hemispherical holes. Now here's huge trovants. These are approximately 10 or more feet across. And there's uh, several or many of those. And here's another view. This whole area is covered in these little black holes which you can see from space which are the trovant negative fossil holes. And again there's thousands of them along this bay and along this beach of sandstone. Now here's a giant trovant hole which is a probably 10 feet across. The other ones are only a couple feet across. Uh, I think the largest one was about 20 feet across. Here is another view of the trovant holes, those black circles you can see. There's a panned out vision, version of the view from space and again this is uh, what we've been looking at there's a log there so now Trovance the answer by Gary Ordog MD my previous video asking about these fossils petroglyphs or how they were made what they are Apparently it was answered by Mr. Attenborough, Mr. Sir David Attenborough, I should say, tweeted me this response, which I promptly replied to and found out that these certainly look a lot like the Trovants of Romania. And these were present in my video in Canada. Uh, they look a little bit different, and I don't know, these may still have fossils inside as the start of the concretions but they sir look similar so I thank you Mr. David Attenborough 
you are a brilliant man and uh, again thank you for answering my YouTube video here are some of these Romanian Trovants or Trovants depends where you're from but they do form these huge round concretions uh, made of minerals dissolved from sandstone, limestone, etc. Here I will show you my original video now so you can refresh your memory on the subject. Fossils, erosions, or petroglyphs of Tillamook, British Columbia, Canada. You decide for yourself what are these fossils, erosions, or petroglyphs by Gary Odog, MD. Treasures of Tillamo. Here's a barnacle encrusted one. This is actually a huge fossil. Possibly. Fossil. Freshly encrusted with barnacles. Here's another barnacle encrusted fossil. You decide what it is. Hard to tell with the barnacles on it. But this is a sandstone beach. It's full of fossils, erosions, and petroglyphs. Here's a fossil within a fossil impression. So you have the negative and the positive of the fossil. Embedded fossil in here. Uh, embedded in the sandstone rock. Is this a fossil? An erosion? Or a petroglyph? Probably a fossil as the fossil is still enclosed in the negative impression and embedded in the rock. Look at this one. It looks like a dimpled bowling ball or a golf ball, but it's huge. Is this a dinosaur egg of a gigantic size? You decide. Here are more of these uh, fossil looking things. Cannonballs, giant cannonballs embedded in the rock. Here this one is dimpled as well, but also partly eroded. And they get all the way up to these huge ones, 10 feet across. Here's the uh, impression, the negative impression of uh, possibly a fossil. Here's an embedded Pac-Man fossil, I call it. <laughs> it's got the mouth on it like a Pac-Man, but it's a sphere. And here's uh, the eroded away half sphere with an impression negative fossil. Here's the positive and negative possibly fossils. Here's more of those giant golf ball, bowling ball, huge uh, maybe dinosaur eggs. Who knows? They're perfectly spherical. Here's a, here's a bunch more of them. There's thousands of them on this beach. This sandstone beach on Vancouver Island, British Columbia, Canada. Many, many holes, thousands and thousands, maybe millions of holes, caverns, caves. This one you could put a mattress in and use it as a house or a bedroom. Here's a huge boulder that's full of caverns. Here's more boulders full of huge room-like caverns. Again, you could live inside of these. These could be bedrooms, adjoining bedrooms for a whole family here. And these are huge. Look how big that is. I could live inside there. These are amazing things. Are these caused by humans? Are these caused by fossilization? Or are these just the effects of erosion into the sandstone? As uh, most of these appear to be in sandstone, this is all the... Uh, sandstone rock around here. Look, here's a huge apartment inside. Is this erosion caused? I could live here. I may be moving into that uh, exact condominium complex there. <laughs> Look at thousands and thousands of holes. Uh, formed by what? That one to me looks like a giant dog laying down with its head to the left, tail to the right. 
holes all over the place, thousands and thousands of holes, maybe millions of holes uh, on this uh, stretch of several hundred meter beach. And uh, again, are these caused by fossil activity, by erosion, by human? Here's a hollow round fossil, positive and negative impressions with a hole in the center. It's hollow. Here's another maybe fossil inside of a fossil impression inside the rock. Maybe this is a turtle shell. Look at the uh, scalloped edges. Millions and millions of holes uh, possibly in this area of sandstone beach. Here's another maybe fossil. It uh, appears to be eroded halfway through, but it was spherical at one time. Is this dinosaur skin? The, all these holes here, even though these ones are very large, it would have to be a huge ancient creature. Look at it. Here's a fossil. It's got something in the center. It's got a ring around the edge and then a halo around that. And perfectly spherical. Look at this. Is this caused by erosion or is that dinosaur skin? Now here's a nice uh, crinoids, an ancient uh, plant-like object. Here's another one. It's got a hollow in the center with a ring around it and a bunch of uh, small spherical shapes. Here's a scallop fossil, maybe a shell with a halo on it. And uh, again, most of them are perfectly spherical, but somewhat eroded on the top where it's been exposed. And this is in the uh, tidal plain. So this is exposed to the wind and water and the twice daily tides. Now look at this huge boulder. It's hollow inside. Uh, you could almost live inside that. Put your sleeping bag in there. Be a good shelter for sleeping in. Here's another one, the size of a sleeping bag. Look at how nice and round this one is. It's smooth. Totally hollow, like a giant, giant eggshell. Look at this, giant handprints. Are those the hand of ancient man? And look at this, 13 segments of a giant sea turtle. That's... Uh, an impression that I had. Here's an imprint with a frilly edge on it. So what kind of creature is that? Possibly a fossil. And again here this is all dimpled. These are huge holes. Thousands of holes and dimples. And look at this uh, formation in the rocks. Perfectly straight lines. And uh, probably erosion caused. Here's the overall view of the area. And here again some of the other amazing structures in this area, these uh, thousands of holes all over in the sandstone, like what formed them? Erosion, creatures, shells digging in there, sea creatures at one time, uh, probably this was the bottom of the ocean at one time, has been uh, raised up. Here the uh, giant dog. <laughs> maybe a giant seal or a sea lion okay look at this There's thousands and thousands of holes were these caused by air bubbles in the sand sea creatures in the sand all petrified over eons of time uh, look at this thing this looks like a dragon I mean it's a amazing artwork here formation there's the uh, head on the right the body across the top and that's wings and fins and legs hanging down. Here, look at this, this is probably erosion I would guess. Many many holes. This, uh, it's not symmetrical so maybe not erosion. And look at another giant room. A family could live inside here. Everyone could put their beds or mattresses down and uh, live inside here. The walls are nice and smooth. Here's an example of some of the uh, layers in the sandstone. Uh, there's another uh, giant room. Good shelter. Uh, were the uh, native indigenous people living in here? I don't know. Are these all petroglyphs? Are these carved out uh, to make homes out of the rock? 
Now look at this. To me, this looks like a, not a petroglyph, a fossil of some uh, turtle or something. Uh, here, look at this. Philodo, many thousands of layers to make this up. Uh, there's another, I think, fossil. Uh, again, it's a cannonball, bigger than a cannonball. And here, this one's got dimples like a golf ball. Now, that's kind of unusual. Uh, probably not man-made. It it's been embedded in the rock for probably millions of years, or at least many thousands of years. And there's thousands of these, perfectly symmetrical. Uh, like amazing um, objects geometrically. Here's one again with a split in the center. So, got this. Here's another one with a split in the center. So, I call these the Pac Man uh, rocks because they look like Pac Man. Now, this to me look like teeth, <laughs> like a jaw, but maybe it's caused by erosion. And then it's got the uh, barnacles obviously growing on uh, where the sea has touched it. Okay, another huge giant uh, larger than a golf ball, perfectly spherical dimpled structure. Here this looks like a fossil maybe of a stingray. Here's a giant spherical dimpled rock. Again it's huge, much larger than my foot. And there's collections of them, thousands of them in this area. So are these giant dimpled dinosaur eggs? I mean that could be, they'd be very large eggs for the ones I've seen in the past. And then you have these layers. This is amazing, all the hundreds and hundreds of layers like phyllo dough. Here's a coral encrusted fossil in the tide water. Again, many many rooms all along uh, the shore. Maybe carved out by erosion, maybe, maybe carved out by man, who knows, carved out by animals. Uh, look at this one, looks like a skull, this is skull rock. Orbits a nasal bridge of a huge skull, see the nasal bridge in the center there, the nasal bones with the orbits on each side. Now here, this one to me looks like it's caused by erosion, you could imagine the waves lapping up and uh, eroding on this as well but something formed these uh, many many layers. Now here look at all these holes. These are spherical holes. Ancient acorn grinding holes are they? And again the giant crinoid, the uh, prehistoric plant that used to grow. Here's another huge crinoid head with a stem uh, in embedded in the rocks. And then here what's this? Like uh, symmetrical type holes. Another huge crinoid head with a stem. So maybe that's what all these are, is uh, ancient crinoids. Now here's a, a spherical, half spherical imprint. Maybe an acorn grinding station. Here's a perfect concave impression. Maybe an acorn grinding station. Perfect concave impression containing a fossil still. And the fossil has markings like a tortoise. Here's a hollow fossil uh, with a hard shell on it, still present. Here's a segmented fossil, so it makes you think of a turtle or a tortoise. Uh, here's an ancient fossilized impression with a fossil still present. Here's another one. Again, literally thousands of these. Here's one that's in the tidal plain, and so it's become encrusted with uh, fresh barnacles. Uh, here's a huge ancient impression uh, that has been eroded, obviously, and just left the impression. Uh, I call this the keyhole notch. Is this a petroglyph, or what caused that? Here's another perfectly spherical, eroded, uh, huge, huge... Uh, thing. I don't know if you figure out what it is. Uh, here's another one that's also been eroded, so uh, it's not spherical anymore, but the hole it is in is spherical. So is that how these were formed? By erosion? And here's another fossil. It's been eroded from the top, and but you can still see the coloration of the maybe a fossil. 
perfectly round impressions like this where the actual uh, fossil or rock or whatever it was that formed it is missing here the fossil is still inside uh, so probably not a petroglyph but I'm not sure you decide so I'm leaving this up to you to decide what all the, these are look at here's a bowling ball in the center with a big uh, huge circle around it here a giant sea turtle this is uh, this one's huge the size of the largest sea turtle that I have seen now what is this skin of petrified monstrous sea creature look at this is this the skin the uh, negative impressions of the skin of a uh, sea creature or a dinosaur petrified over many eons of time now all along this shoreline are thousands and thousands of holes maybe millions of holes uh, all different sizes here's a huge half spherical fossil I call it and then you see stuff like this this weird fossilized I call it a moose skull <laughs> what is it I'm thinking giant horseshoe crab here uh, it's a segmented uh, shell of some form there's a mama and a baby so maybe stingrays mama and baby got became fossilized here uh, more of these uh, unusual rock formations now you might think of this as a nest of dinosaur eggs uh, there's all these spherical structures fossilized into the rock there's another is this a nest of dinosaur eggs what are these dinosaur eggs perfectly spherical embedded in the sandstone uh, unable to remove but making a perfect impression over many eons of time look at this one is absolutely huge this is the largest one well over 10 feet in diameter uh, look at this sandstone beach it's full of these spherical holes perfectly sphere half spherical uh, are these ancient acorn grinding holes of the indigenous people I don't know you decide a giant horseshoe crab maybe well, look at this this to me looks like a fossil now here's dinosaur skin imprints possibly uh, I call this a huge sword sharpener and now it is several feet across but could be used to sharp sharpen knives and swords and uh, these big caves with pillows inside you could live inside there here's a huge half bowling ball question mark fossil this one not so perfect a little uh, little eroded maybe so it's not perfectly spherical again many many layers forming this coastline here's another perfect half sphere so what's formed these are these fossils are these erosion of rocks uh, why would these form here this one's a perfect sphere inside the whole of a perfect half sphere here's another huge uh, spherical hole so is this an acorn grinding station here's another one perfect spherical bowl was this used by the indigenous people for grinding their acorns and things now this is a huge one hundreds of feet long there it is from the profile and uh, looks like a giant blue whale carving and look at this is this uh, erosion man-made handmade petroglyphs I don't know huge pac-man fossil <laughs> okay all of this in 500 feet of uh, sandstone beach uh, millions of holes millions of maybe fossils millions of maybe petroglyphs anyway a fascinating fascinating area whatever they are they're leaving fossil impressions here these are these are all stuck in the sandstone and then if you're up at 4 a.m. you can also experience this beautiful sunrise so you decide and thank 
On further review on the internet, I have found that these concretions, stone concretions, are present in many places on Earth. And I will show you some examples. Here's Mongolia, for example. These look like the ones on Vancouver Island. Some of them may be somewhat bigger, but again, a 20 foot one I did show you on Vancouver Island. And here again, these are from Mongolia. Mongolia, they look uh, very similar to these massive concrete spheres that are concretions of sedimentary rock. Here, these giant so-called pearls in Carlsbad uh, caverns. And I assume these concretions can form anywhere on Earth that is the right sedimentary formation occurs. And I also will assume that and have seen, for examples myself, that there is often a nidus of formation, as in a fossil at the Thank core you for of these. Kind support over the years. And again, I am board certified here, forensic examiners, and uh, thank you again for your support over the years. And I appreciate it if uh, you can press for a free subscription. And uh, yes, this is a summer 72. I work for the parks over and out. Medical toxicology, Gary J. Ordog, MD.